$875 a month. If they're over the age of 65, they're allowed to keep $895 a month. Anything in excess, Medicaid calls this the overage. And Medicaid really gives the applicant two choices with regards to the overage. It really most times boils down to one choice, but here's effectively what happens. Let's say someone has 2,000 a month in income uh, from whatever sources, um, it doesn't matter if they're married or single um, or a widow, and they're allowed to keep, you know, 895, let's say 900. The 1100 is the overage. Every month you could choice one, you know, effectively turn that over to Medicaid, pay for the expenses, it's gone. Um, and, you know, it, it, turn it over to Medicaid each month, and now the applicant is forced to live on, you know, 895 a month on Long Island. It's impossible. I don't know how anyone can do this. Uh, the real choice um, ends up always more often times than not being um, that the applicant can become a participant in something called the pooled trust. What's the pool, what's a pooled trust? I always describe it as kind of like a fancy bank account. And this fancy bank account, it can only be set up at certain not-for-profit or charitable organizations. Like you can't go to Chase Bank and set up a pooled trust account. By the way, I hate the title of it because when you hear an attorney use the word trust, you think we're drawing up some fancy legal papers. And I'll get to those in a moment. But the pooled trust is really a fancy bank account that every month the community uh, Medicaid uh, recipient takes their excess income, deposits it into the pool trust account. Every month that pool, the pool trust company or charity or not-for-profit takes out a management fee. There's a one-time setup fee about, two, about $250. After that, there's usually a monthly charge. It's usually about 10%. So if someone was you know, depositing $1,100 a month, they'll take out $110. So net, they have about $1,000 each month in the pool trust account. They have 900, you know, 895 in their own name. Spend it on whatever you want. Go to the racetrack, it doesn't matter. The, you know, the, the, the thousand that remains each month in the pool trust account, the family will send bills in that person's name to the pool trust company. And the pool trust company will use that money to pay that person's bills so long as it's in their name and it's normal household expenses you know, heating bills, oil, gas, electric, telephone, cable, a credit card, you know, if it's for normal, you know, groceries, you know, living expenses, that's what it's designed to do.